In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a church flyer like this. And this is coming up. What is going on? My name is Dennis. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here in this channel, we help graphic designers find success in their career. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video. Now, this is our Corel Draw and I'll be using these resources to make these designs and I'll be using these pictures and these two icons here to make this design and i will launch my corel draw first i have to create a new document so i'm going to click here to create a new document and we'll be working with an a5 size because we are designing an a5 handbill okay come here and change your size to a5 and once this is done remember our design is landscape design not a portrait design i'm going to change this to this to make the design a, a landscape so the first thing i'm going to do is to import my pictures into this design so i'm going to click on all these pictures and bring them to corel draw and the pictures have already taken the background of all the pictures out if you want to learn how to take off the background of every picture i have a link on the description where you can watch how to remove a background of a picture now i'm going to resize all of them by resizing them this is what i've got and i'm going to double click here on the rectangle to double click here to get this shape and change this to 100% black Remember, I'm designing for print, so I'm using the CMYK color palette. That is why I'm using 100% black. And when you are designing for a digital purpose, that is, your design will end on a screen. You can always use RGB to design, but since I'm designing for print, that is why I'm using CMYK. On your own design you can decide to use RGB because you may use it for online advert and other stuff but on my own design it's for a print so you choose your own color palette and know the way you work with it so now I'm going to create a texture a, a pattern background which I will use in this design and the pattern I will use will be my line. So I'm going to change this to the pen tool, click on my pen tool and make something like this. Click here and take it to the side, double click to get this line here. Change the point, the outline width to 2.0 and zoom in so you can duplicate this click and drag to this direction then before you leave your mouse you right click before you leave to duplicate remember when dragging this press your control key so your line will be on a straight line let me do it again so you understand what i mean control z click press control on your keyboard drag it to this direction right click before you leave and this is what i've got then to do multiples of this line and i have to duplicate these lines by using ctrl d ctrl d to duplicate them and continue duplicating it and i think this is okay so all i have to do is to select these lines and group them do the same thing again click and drag right click before you leave your mouse to duplicate the lines all together and i have to mirror horizontally and select this other one press shift and select this other one and press c 
on your keyboard to centralize and you have this uh, pattern that looks like a net this is how the pattern looks like then i have to select everything and change it to by clicking here right click on white to change your outline to white color and this is what we have got sorry this is what we have got here so i don't like the lines are too big so i have to change the outline width to 1.0 and i think this is okay so all i have to do is to um right click and bring it to this shape when you right click on any element in your design and bring it to any shape you will see options like this you press power clip inside when you power clip inside the the pattern we created has gone into this shape that is here so i have to press alternate and click inside the shape to select the pattern background we have made inside the power clip since we don't want to open inside the power clip we just want to walk outside the power clip and still edit our our pattern so you have to set it well and click on the transparency tool and click here overlay once you click on the overlay automatically the the uh, pattern has gone into the shape now we have to change our color by doing something like this click on the interactive field tool and do this change this place to electrical fountain field once you click here it turns to this click on this part of the fill and click on this to change the color to purple and i want the purple to be more than this to be thicker than that okay i think this is okay then press alternate click on the shape again to select the pattern we did before and reduce the transparency by selecting uniform transparency and increase your transparency to reduce it into the background you can see what we have got we have been able to create this nicely looking background so the next thing i'm going to do is to arrange these pictures accordingly starting from the one that will be in the middle this is what I'm going to do. Okay, press control page up to bring this picture to the front. Remember, control page up brings pictures in front, and control page down brings pictures behind. I have to resize all of them to fit each other remember these pictures were done with different proportions but after resizing all of them they will look nice together control page down Remember when working with this, you will not be perfect immediately. With resizing pictures like this, it may take time, but you just have to continue doing it till you get used to it. Um, I'm going to mirror these other pictures so it can fit in its position. I think I will mirror this one also so it fits in its position due to the nature of the picture.
Okay. You don't need to be perfect when doing this. Maybe with time, you'll get to know how to do it better than this. Okay, I think this is okay. So all I will do is to select all the pictures and sorry, select all the pictures and press Ctrl G to group all of them. Remember, when you want to group objects or elements in your design, you have to press Ctrl G on your keyboard to group elements in your design. So that is the same thing I've done here by pressing Ctrl G. I've been able to group all these elements in my design. I have to transparent the down part of these pictures because it's so rough. It's so so rough. So I have to transparent by adding transparency here. When adding this transparency, I pressed Shift to make my selection or my transparency straight and this is what I have got push it upwards now it's time to add my typography I have already typed everything that I need to put on the flyer so let's start with this copied it and I'm going to paste it here by pressing ctrl k on your keyboard I'll be able to break all this text apart change this to Gisha I don't know, I love using this font so much, especially when it comes to flyers, stuff like this. And change the font size to, um, I think I should leave it at 16 points. Change the color to white. And present, also change it to Gisha and change. The font size should be 14 for legibility. Okay, I'm going to use my shape to, to expand this and increase the tracking. Okay, change it to white and press shift, select the church name and press C to centralize. Remember, when you select objects and you want it to centralize with your background, select your background and press C to centralize everything. That is the same thing I've done here. Okay, the Guardian of Champions. Let me bring this down a little. And I'll use my pen to, to draw something like this. Sorry, let me delete this off. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm going to do.
remember to bring an object forward you need to press ctrl page up and change the font size to 14 you can enlarge it to fit this and i'm going to change this by click on the text again to get these curves then hold here and drag upwards a little to fit on the shape i want to make a little creativity here i'm going to select the champions and press ctrl x to cut it out and press ctrl v to paste it in another direction and do something like this Okay, I'm going to change this to red color and Okay, I'm going to place this here on your page up to bring it forward make it bold and white Okay so I'm going to I'm going to change this to red also and this is what I've got there. I think I should select all these and group them and reduce a little. Press shift, click on the program, and press C to centralize and take these pictures up a little. Now we are done with the upper part of our design. I think I should enlarge these pictures a little. Okay. Ensure the pictures are well centralized. Use your eyes to make sure your design is balanced. And I would like to put this picture inside my power clip. So simply press Ctrl X, click, press Ctrl and click on the background to open the power clip and press Ctrl V to paste it inside the power clip and you can click here to stop editing content. So once you click here, you close the power clip and you can see our pictures all have different light and different colors after the whole design i'm going to um i'm going to change the colors to fit our background color the next thing i will do is to go to the theme of the of the program okay exploit without limit control x to break the text enlarge this change the font to petras and this is what i've got and i'm going to make some creative stuff here first enlarge this take it over a little okay change this to white and press ctrl k to break all the text apart you can see they are now alone okay i'm going to change this x to road rage okay and enlarge a little to make it look more creative and change this to red and also i'm going to convert this o to curve by pressing ctrl q and click on your rectangle to and do something like this okay simply select the shape and press shift and select the 
O then come to trim and this is what I've got okay change this to red and right click here to take off the outline and this is done select all the white text and group them together then use your field to interactive field to do this orange and yellow i think i should change this orange to red okay this is very nice okay we are done with that then click on this one press ctrl k to break the text apart change this limit to petras and bring it here and i'll change this without to another typeface which is recorder script it will be here what I'm going to do is to press Ctrl Q to curve this um, typeface or this font to and change the outline width to 1.5. Bring it here, reduce it into this place. And add this color. and we are good to go okay i'm going to do something like this using the fill tool i'm going to do something like this this is very nice select everything you've done there and press ctrl g and use your shadow tool to add shadows to this and increase the transparency of the shadow while you reduce the feathers to 11 and this is how nice our topic has been you can reduce this a little so there will be space for other information take it up reduce and centralize okay click on this and click again to get this curve hold here and drag it up a little this is what we have got we are beginning to see the beauty of our flyer and the next thing we are going to do is to add something like this using the pen to add this and change this to red okay and i think i should reduce these pictures a little by pressing alternate and click on the pictures to select the pictures remember we added this picture into a power clip so we have to press alternate before clicking on the picture so we can work on the picture okay i think this space is okay for other elements in our design i'm going to import this also I'm going to create a shape here where I'll be able to put this change it to white right click here to take off the outline
okay and I'll paste this convert it change it to Gisha make it bold and reduce it Okay, we are almost there and I'm going to bring this also this is what I'm going to do you just have to be creative when working with stuff like this Change this to Gisha, make it bold, and the same thing here. And I'm going to change the alignment to the center and the same thing to this while this will be here and I'm going to create something like this to indicate that it moves from Wednesday to Thursday remember that angles like these are used to indicate a direction so I'm directing people that this event will take place from Wednesday to Thursday so this is what we have got I'm going to place it here and delete this the time for this is 5 30 pm okay reduce this and bring it here I'm going to change these colors to fit what I'm doing okay I'm going to put it in a shape like this change the shape to red press ctrl page down to move your shape to the ground and group everything okay that is for the shape and I'm going to do something like this remember i have shift um i've made the elements in this design to bend to one side so every other element must follow this direction to show the beauty you can't make elements to bend to different directions so this is what i've got okay group I want to take this shape to this other place and I'm going to use my shape to press ctrl Q to curve your shape so you can easily work on this shape like this paste this which was copied centralize reduce it and bring it here change this to Gisha remember we have been using Gisha all through this design so we must maintain it till the end of the design okay duplicate again and bring this here paste and Change this to Gisha 12 points. Make it bold. You can still reduce it again to fit this place. Now, when designing stuff like this, it depends on it depends on 
the size you are designing for if you are designing for a billboard you must know the sizes you are using to design so from any direction anyone can easily read what is on it and this is an a5 flyer which anyone who reading it will hold it close to his or her eyes and it will be easily read so take note when designing for flyer and for billboard remember billboard is always far from the eye so element on the billboard should be very large and bold enough for people to see it clearly okay i'm going to take this to this place because of the Okay, so creating this shape here, change it to white and page down to take it behind. Remember, we have been adjusting this like this. Okay, so we are almost done with our design. As you can see, at least this design was done from the scratch. We have not imported anything outside what we have done apart from our text and the pictures we have made everything from the scratch so let's conclude this whole job okay the venue paste it change this to gisha and reduce the font size to 12 and we are going to bring it here and break it accordingly okay 10 points and break it like this okay make it bold and change it to white using the shape tool we can reduce this okay and Click on it to get this round course, then move it upwards. And our design is becoming very wonderful to the eye, as you can see here. You're almost done. And the next thing I will want to do is to add the footage of this design, which is the the inquiries and the last thing which almost every church in nigeria like using this stuff which is jesus is lord at the end of all their flyers i'm going to add it for them okay gisha and point bold and i'll bring it here change it to white and goes very well and the last thing which is Jesus is Lord okay and change this to yellow so this is our design the, I told you guys that at the end of this design, we are going to work on the pictures to make sure that the pictures, the colors, and everything works with the background. So I'm going to press alternate on your keyboard, click on the pictures, ungroup the pictures so you can edit the pictures one after the other. Let's start from our left, which is this picture here. When you press alternate, you can click so you select the particular picture you are looking for. Effects are just done. You can see the picture is becoming better than before. And it's not blending well with the background. So I'm going to adjust the color balance. 
okay add a little magenta and um, okay little of red you just keep on adjusting till you get what you want and once you're happy with that you press okay and the next picture i think it's just a little work here remember when editing the next picture return everything to the center so it won't change because the pictures has different blending options the, the pictures has a different color on them so you don't edit the first picture like the second one because corel draw automatically once you edit the first picture with a particular color balance the next picture will also take that same color balance you have to edit it okay need to add a little yellow to this to make it look like the first picture here okay next thing i'm going to do is to press alternate click on this center picture and do the same edit adjust color balance okay you can see it it's beginning to blend together okay and the third picture here i think this picture will give us much work but we have to find a way to go through all this Okay, adjust color balance and return everything to the center. Okay, and I think that is okay. I, let me add gamma to this picture to make it a little bit okay. This should be nice and the last picture here has much green on the face remember when selecting these pictures click alternate till you select the particular picture which you are looking for okay effect adjust tone first you can increase it like this okay then effect adjust color balance it automatically takes the setting of the last picture we edited and i think that is just perfect and okay for it okay and this is what we have got so now i would like to add shadows behind these pictures to make it more better than this and one thing you should know is we added a transparency to this picture so adding shadows to this picture will require much work but we have to go through this first we have to open our power clip and group the pictures because we have already ungrouped the pictures during the color balance setting and all those stuff so i'm going to open the power clip and group all the pictures select the shadow tool and click and drag And this shadow is set here so you can see the shadows showing down here because of the transparency we did so I'm going to break off this shadow but before then I have to reduce the feathers and I'm going to break off these shadows okay press ctrl K to break the shadows once you break the shadows press alternate click to select the shadows and this is what we've got convert these shadows to bitmap cnyk okay i think i should use grayscale since it's just one color gradient and spot color yeah okay and use the transparency tool to transparent here 
and this you can see now the shadows down here have disappeared while the top shadows still appear here and then close your power clip here and this is what we have got and the last thing i would love to add to this design to make it look more beautiful and look classic is the church logo i didn't add this logo to the folder where our resources for the design is located i'm going to pick it up where it's found immediately okay this is the church logo import it and place it here okay the next thing i'm going to do is to identify all the pictures here with their names and this is what i'm going to do i'm going to do something like this create a circle using the ellipse to and I'm going to change this to yellow this is better okay i'm going to number them respectively two three four five and I've typed their names here I'll simply paste their names here change this to Gisha eight points and bring it here because of this I'm going to shift this title to the right well, I place this here, change it to white, and take this upwards. okay and the last thing i'm going to do is to add these icons here i can't change this color unless i trace it by doing this okay so i can delete the other one out and change this to this Well, this will be here. Okay, this is the end of our design. You know, at this design, there were so much write ups we had to manage to result to this you can do better than this it's not a must that you must design exactly like this but trying to do something like this will make you more creative and creative and creative so if you really enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up i have a link where you can download the 
Corel draw file of this design and I will put a link where you can get resources for this design also thank you so much for watching this video and I would like you to watch another video here so if you enjoyed watching this particular video see you back next time